Sekalipun saya tidak terpilih jadi gubernur. Ya saya ingin cerita ini supaya Bapak Ibu semangat. Jadi nggak usah pikiran, ah nanti kalau nggak terpilih, pasti Ahok programnya bubar. Enggak, saya sampai Oktober 2017. Jadi jangan percaya sama orang, kan bisa aja dalam hati kecil Bapak Ibu, nggak bisa pilih saya. Ya kan dibohongin pakai surat termai dari Mas Satu macam-macam itu. Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Rafi Surya Ramadan. My name is Andi Devin Anafanta. My name is Muhammad Rifki Amanta Triawan. And today we will discuss the application of expectation violation theory or EVT in resolving a real life case in Indonesia. Expectation violation theory developed by Judy Bergun explores how individuals respond to unexpected behaviors in interpersonal communications and how this response can influence relationships and also perception. Give you the better understanding about what is expectation violation theory or EVT. EVT posits that people have expectations about others' behaviors based on social norms, past experience, and contextual factors. When these expectations are violated, the response can be positive or negative, depending on factors such as the nature of the violation and the relationship between the individuals involved. And the case study, which is the Ahok blasphemy, in 2016, Basuki Cahaya Purnama, known as Ahok, the then governor of Jakarta, was involved in a controversial case. During a speech, Ahok cited a Quranic verse, which is many perceive as blasphemous. And this incident led to widespread protest, legal action, and eventually Ahok's imprisonment for blasphemy. And I'm going to explain about application of EVT. The first one is expectation setup, cultural and religious context. In Indonesia, as a fundamentally Muslim country, religious sentiments are strong. Political figures are expected to show respect towards religious texts and beliefs. Ahok's background. Ahok, being a Christian of Chinese descent in a Muslim majority country, had pre-existing societal expectations and scrutiny. And the number two is violation, unexpected behavior. Ahok references to the Quranic verse was perceived as inappropriate and disrespectful, violating the societal expectation of religious sensitivity. The public relation is the violation led to a negative response from the public, including massive protest and significant backlash from various religious groups. And the next one is going to be explained by Iki. And I'm going to explain about the resolution through expectation violation theory or EVT. So through this theory, we have understanding the violations by recognizing that the violation of religious expectation was the core issues. It was essential to address the perceived disrespect. Number two, we have dialogue and apology uh, from the case uh, by Ahok. Ahok issues an apology attempting to clarify his intentions and mitigate the negative impact. However, the apology alone was insufficient due to the deep-seated expectation and emotions involved by the society. Number three, we have legal and social actions. The case was taken to the court where Ahok was eventually found guilty of blasphemy blasphemy and this legal resolutions while controversial was seen by many as necessary to restore social harmony and address the violation in the context of social societal norms and lastly we have long-term implication by this the case highlighted the importance of cultural sensitivity and adherence the societal expectations especially for public features and it also sparked discussions on the balance between freedom of speech and respect for religious belief in Indonesia. So, in conclusion, the Ahok blasphemy case in Indonesia demonstrates the practical application of expectation violation theory. By understanding the societal expectations and the impact of their violations, we can better comprehend reactions and outcomes in such situations. EVT provides a valuable framework for analyzing 
and resolving conflicts that arise from unexpected behaviors, emphasizing the importance of cultural sensitivity and communication in diverse societies. And here is the source of our topic today. Thank you for listening. I hope this discussion of expectation violation theory and its application in resolving a significant case in Indonesia has been insightful. Thank you.